All right, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of our Madden 25 Connected Franchise Owner Mode Fantasy Draft Ralph Wilson Buffalo Bills Ute Soup Series. Today, it is the last day of the regular season, the 12 and 3 Buffalo Bills visiting the 7 and 8 Miami Dolphins, Colin Kaepernick and company. The Bills need to win today to clinch the AFC Conference. Now, if they are unable to do so, the Cleveland Browns, the only team within striking distance of them, could also uh, lose today, and therefore the Bills would win the would win the 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 top spot. Um, however, a Bills loss paired with the Browns win means the Browns will take the AFC, and the Bills will take the number two seed. So it is important for the Bills to win today, um, just to eliminate any possibility that the Browns could possibly pass them uh, for supremacy in the American Football Conference. Um, we will play today. Excuse me. We will play today's game um, with our starters for as long as possible. However, um, with the rash of injuries that are possible, for example, last episode, uh, uh, last game episode, I should say, we lost Basman Hooker um, for uh, an extended period of time. Uh, we don't want any more of that, and so we are going to uh, try to operate on the side of caution. Uh, while still trying to win today's game. Uh, it's a rainy one here in Miami. Uh, it's raining in Miami. Sorry, I had to do that once. Uh, we will defend left-hand side here. Dolphins set to receive. Uh, I think that's what they called anyways. We are 3-0 and against the Dolphins in our time uh, in this series uh, in season number two. Um, and that kick will go to uh, far enough back in the end zone that it will go for a touchback. Beautiful stuff. Let's get to know these Dolphins a little bit. Uh, we've played them three times before, but things are always changing in Miami. Uh, first of all, let's actually let's quickly go and fix our running back situation. Darren Sproles, the new starter for this team with Basman Hooker, being out for an extended period of time. Ryan Williams will see significant time, though, as, as well. Uh, quarterback of these Miami Dolphins, Colin Kaepernick, obviously... You know, we all know all about Colin Kaepernick, 88 speed, 92 overall. Not much left to be said about him. LaRod Stevens Howling, the starter here. Sean Green, no longer the starter. Um, the backup, Joe McKnight. Stevens Howling, a solid returner, lots of speed. We have to watch that. Lance Kendricks, the fullback, Santonio Holmes, T.Y. Hilton, Ruben Randall, Jarrell Jernigan, the wide receivers, tight end, Benjamin Watson, Corey Harkey on the other side, left tackle, David Deal. Left guard, Jeff Schwartz. Center, Marquise Pouncey. Right guard, Marcus Cannon. Right tackle, Luke Jokel. Left end, Anthony Spencer. Right end, Demontre Moore. Defensive tackle, Sion Pua, who's injured. So Davon, or Davion Madru, a rookie, will be starting there. He's a little undersized. Well, actually, no, he, he's just the exact same size as Sion Pua. It's fine. Outside linebacker, Sean Porter. Middle linebacker, Demario Davis. Outside linebacker, Adonis Adams. Corners, Josh Wilson, Cortez Allen, Javier Arenas, and Captain Munderland. My favorite name in the NFL, Captain Munderland. Antoine Bathia is the free safety, strong safety, Danielle Manning. Quarter, uh, kicker, Mason Crosby, and punter, Matt Bosher. Those are the Miami Dolphins. They've got some firepower. They've got some speed. And there's the man who, who, who provides a lot of that speed and a lot of that firepower, Colin Kaepernick, 88 speed. We'll have to do our absolute best today to keep him from hurting us with our legs. We'll go a lot of lo uh, uh, wide sets with our defensive line to try and contain him as, as, as well as the Rod Stevens howling. Here's Antonio Holmes, another speedster on this team, comes over in, uh, uh, in motion. Stevens howling gets the ball on the delayed handoff. Bruce Irvin with the tackle after Justin Durant made the initial contact. Beautiful stuff there. Second and seven upcoming. I like that play to start this one off. We'll, we'll call a little bit of heat again, sending our two outside linebackers. Again, we'll go with a wide set uh, of uh, of our defensive line. And, oh, buddy, Vontae Davis just gets beaten there by Santonio Holmes. It's a 30-yard reception. Holmes running a simple corner route. Davis just must have, you know, just, wow. Yeah, just just not on the ball there. Come on, buddy. You got to wake up. We, we, I want to get out to a lead in this game so that we can rest our starters as soon as possible. Um, I think we might have to, to rest our starters regardless down the stretch. Just 
give the game to our backups. In some cases, they're a nice play. Justin Durant stopping Stevens howling for no gain on that delayed handoff out of the shotgun. 3-3-5. Three, three, let's keep everybody back this time, and let's see if we can find a play where Mr. Bostic can stand it. This, I like this play. Three double buzz. It's his own play, and we get uh, Jason Worlds uh, playing that all-important um, uh, uh, small zone coverage that sees him uh, serve as the quarterback spy. Obviously, no pass play there. Four yards for Steven Towling off the left-hand side, but it's important to keep uh, a, a quarterback like Colin Kaepernick at bay. And the best way to do that often is to, to, to employ somebody in that spy role who's going to be able to, to roll with Kaepernick and keep him honest. Here, going over the middle, catch by Randall, 10 yards. Sanford was there. I think that was Kirkpatrick in man coverage. I could be wrong on that. No, that was Marcus Gilchrist in man coverage. Just a step behind him. Allows the Miami Dolphins to get into field goal range. He'll be a 51-yarder right now for Mason Crosby. Stevens Howling and Watson in the backfield in the shotgun. Kaepernick, read option. Sanford reads it but misses. Colin Kaepernick off to the races. Touchdown. Colin Kaepernick, he can hurt you with his legs. Sanford, I asked him to dive for whatever reason. He decided he knew better. Didn't dive. Read it properly, but no go. Castro will, will try to stop. No, nothing doing. Three and a half, or three minutes, 13 seconds left in the first quarter. Dolphins up 7 nothing in this rainy affair on that read option play by Colin Kaepernick. Coming in will be the Buffalo Bills' top offense. This will likely be the entire offense, the last time the entire offense plays today. Um, Jacoby Ford, a nice return up the gut to the 29-yard line. Um, regardless of anything else, I would have played uh, our our full set of our fir our full set of uh, first stringers, no matter what, um, for the first set. I want to get all the guys involved in the game, keep them fresh, uh, because we do have a bye week next week. Darren Sproles gets through a little hole there. He had no business getting a 12-yard gain on that one, but he does. Nice carry, 12 yards for Sproles. Very nice play to start off this one, and we'll go to the air here, I think. Deshaun Jackson, Doug Baldwin, Mario Manningham, the receivers. Manningham and Baldwin have both disappeared for portions of the season, but it's hard to keep everybody in this offense happy with the ball. We have too many weapons. We got Deshaun Jackson tearing it up in the slot position. We got Three guys in the backfield demanding playing time. We got, you know, uh, Darren Sproles always playing well when he gets a chance. Basman Hooker had a breakout season as a rookie. Ryan Williams coming from off the bench last season had a nice had a great season. And then look at our look at our tight end situation. I mean, we have a rookie sensation catching passes left, right, and center. Every time Jeff Crumlin gets a chance, he makes a nice play. And even behind both those guys, we have um, another talented. Young man, Niles Paul, who almost never gets a chance, but has a ton of athleticism, could probably do a lot of damage when he's in the game. And then and on top of all that, John Kuhn, the fullback, also a guy who can come in and make a nice play every now and again. Often flies under the radar, but I don't think he's dropped a pass for us ever. Comes in when he's required to uh, and can make nice catches out of the backfield. Not a ton of speed, obviously, but he doesn't need a ton of speed. He does what he does just fine. Here, Darren Sproles will make the catch out of the backfield. Little juke up for a gain of eight. Sproles, such a nice weapon on the ground through the air. First down. Not often you see a guy 32 years old making such a nice... Actually, sorry, I think I called him 32 last episode as well last time. I think he's just 31. Darren Sproles, 31 years of age, I believe. Um, I'll double check that in a moment. But Sproles here running around, and he does get the corner, but he does the weird juke thing again. My goodness. The last time we were going around the edge, that juke was called, but we've had problems with players juking when they're not supposed to be juking. It happened last game on a kick return every now and again. I don't know what it is, but it just happens. Random jukes for no reason. Second and nine upcoming. Rolling right. Eric Baldwin puts his head down, runs over his man. Touchdown. The rookie sensation. I don't even know how many touchdowns. Next episode, I promise, we'll recap all the season stats for you guys. Eric Baldwin season stats are ridiculous. I believe he's over 1,100 yards on the season on that catch. Just phenomenal rookie year. 
one of the best all time for a tight end, without a doubt. I'll have to double check what the ru- the rookie record is for 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 tight end receptions, uh, but phenomenal stuff. Uh, with 12 seconds left in the first quarter, uh, the Dolphins take that touch back on that Greg the Leg kickoff. It's been many many games since we've had an actual kick return. I would like to know when the last time was actually. In the meantime, it is a bizarre little shotgun setup here. Stevens howling in the backfield. Watson kind of lined up as a fullback. That looked to be a read option. And there's a fumble. Marquise Pouncey, the center, picks it up. Stevens howling, I believe that was like a little lead read option play. Watson was in the backfield to lead, kind of be the lead blocker, serve as the lead blocker. That ends as the first quarter. Nice job for us getting the uh, the big hit there. I don't know who that was. I'll have to check at the end of the game to see who got that forced fumble. Uh, we have been trying to engage as many of our defensive players with the uh, the big hitter trait trying and, and, and getting more fumbles particularly when our offense has been so prone to fumbling and it's hurt us a lot from time to time this season this time Stevens howling to the right hand side of Kaepernick who's looking to throw Kirkpatrick elevates Trey Kirkpatrick gets the pick Kaepernick floats that one up Kirkpatrick brings it down and we will take over the 28-yard line of the Dolphins. Beautiful stuff. I remember this point last season as well. Uh, Colin Kaepernick had a terrible game against us. He threw a couple of really, really silly interceptions that I, I, I had no idea why he was throwing. Here, oh, speaking of silly interceptions, mother frick. Eric Baldwin was in double coverage there, did not see the second guy. Ouch. We were just handed a seven-point lead, and I just handed it right back to him. Speaking of stupid decisions, that was even worse than the Kaepernick pick. Yeah, just the, the corner comes up from out of the frame, and obviously, the easiest pick of his career. Just didn't see him there. I just saw Eric, Eric Baldwin pull easily away from the linebacker. Thought nothing of it. Stupid, stupid, stupid. First down, Dolphins. The team's trade interceptions, and I think this is exactly where the Dolphins even were when Kaepernick threw the interception. So nothing changes. Delayed handoff to Stevens Helling. He's got room up the gut. Justin Durant misses. Finally, brought down by Vontae Davis, not before he rattles off 22 yards up the gut. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Kaepernick hands us that opportunity. Ah, oh, Frustrating. Howling had just eight yards off four carries before that one. Now 30 yards off five carries. Sucks. Here he goes off the left side. Thomas gets out there, makes the tackle. Beautiful stuff. Shamarco Thomas, despite his limited size, can cover so much space in such a small amount of time. It's wonderful. Second and nine upcoming. Hopefully we can get another interception just like that last one right here. Just over... Uh, four minutes left in the second quarter. Stevens howling, running this time. He knocks over Drake Kirkpatrick five yards off the right side for Stevens howling. The Dolphins seem intent to keep it on the ground here. I guess they're keeping it on the ground right now just to ease Kirkpatrick back into the game after that pick. Here they're going shotgun. Stevens howling to the right of, of, of uh, Kaepernick. They go play action. Kaepernick, he doesn't have anybody open. He takes off, and he's annihilated by John Bostic and company. He still gained a couple yards, but it's fourth down. And hopefully that'll bring out the punt team at the Bill 42-yard line. And no, they're going for it, folks. See, I'm not the only one who goes for it on fourth down. Dolphins, fourth and one. They have a three-receiver set upcoming here. Watson and Howling in. We're going to pinch this defensive line, and they're going to the air. Wow, they kick it out. Watson busted up by Durant in the backfield. Kaepernick throws for a loss of two. First down, Bills, they're on 43-yard line. And so the defense comes up big again, forces another turnover, this time on downs. And you know, folks, as tempted as I am to pull Rodgers now, I don't want his last throw before the playoffs to have been a pick. So this will be Aaron Rodgers' last game of the dr- uh, last drive of the game. Uh, this will be his last drive of the regular season, actually. And you can see there, Jeff Cumberland fell down, got back up, made a nice catch for 13 yards. First down, Bills at the 45-yard line 
uh, now of these Miami Dolphins. Cumberland, give him credit. Athletic guy to be six foot four, I think he is. Fall down like he just did and get right back up. Nice job. There, Darren Sproles makes something out of nothing. Four yards off the right hand side. He's been great today. Showing off his speed, his his agility, his acceleration, despite the fact that he's a running back who's on the wrong side of 30. Just impressive. Not a lot of guys can do that. And here, Aaron Rodgers in trouble. And we're doing that whole pump fake thing again that I don't understand why it's happening. Don't know why we're pump faking every two seconds. I'm not doing that. It's the same as the juking. I don't understand it. Which doesn't make any sense because to juke is to hit the button, is, the, is to hit the right uh, joystick aggressively to one side. Whereas the, the, the pump fake is to hit L1. Like it's two different things. So it's not like one thing is happening. It's like, oh, the controller must be doing this. Over the middle, Doug Baldwin. Ball thrown slightly behind him. Doesn't matter. 21 yards to the 25-yard line. We're within two minutes now of the end of the first half. No problems there with uh, any of the controls. Bills driving. Here, Eric Baldwin's going to stay in to block Rodgers rolls right. Jackson comes open on the double move, and he's up the sidelines, down to the one. Deshaun Jackson, beautiful play there. When Deshaun Jackson gets going, he shows off his solid footwork. Nobody's going to catch him. First down to the one-yard line, first and goal here. Let's go ahead, get Williams into the game. And we're not going to call this play until we have zeros well, not zeros actually, but but no time left on the play clock. It'll help us get the ball or get the clock down past the one minute mark, uh, and hopefully give Kaepernick and company a shorter amount of time to play with the ball after we score. Actually, it'd be kind of nice if we actually got stuffed right here to give us a second second try or at least force the Dolphins to call a timeout. So here we go. One second left on the play clock. Williams up and in. Touchdown Bills. Aaron Rodgers last drive of the of the regular season. Goes to a touchdown. Ryan Williams from one yard out. Beautiful stuff. Greg the leg in for the PAT. It's up. It's good. Bills up 14-7. Now it's going to be time to pull some of our pull some of our star players. Normal kick. Let's go ahead here. Um, let's the the two guys who I'm probably most concerned about um, are Aaron Rodgers, who's going to be replaced by Jason Campbell. Um, the uh, the, the nine-year veteran um, who missed most of this season with an injury. So he'll actually be basically getting his first game action. And then Deshaun Jackson. He's going to be replaced by Gino Castro in the slot. We'll get Castro some time. Um, the next move we're going to make is going to be to get Eric Baldwin um, out of the game and probably Michael Roos. For now, we'll leave them both and uh, let, our, uh, let some of our backups in. Uh, we'll leave our defense, I think, the same until halftime, at which point we'll have to swap some guys out. Uh, I just hesitate to make too many changes while we just have a one touchdown lead. Uh, 53 seconds left in the half. Kaepernick and company will come out. Defense has been stellar so far today. They did give up the touchdown, the read option. I take blame for that. It should have had it with Sanford as I read it perfectly. Just failed to make the play thereafter. So here we go. Three receivers coming out here for the Dolphins. We'll go cover two. Randall in the slot. T.Y. Hilton. Uh, this, oh, you know what, Thomas, we're going to have to pinch Thomas. This is the same uh, read option formation as we had before. They don't run a read option on this play, though Kaepernick does take off. He's hit. Fights off. That looked to be Vontae Davis, but Kaepernick does not get away from the next man. I think that was Drake Kirkpatrick. Nice job wrapping him up. 46 seconds left. Dolphins take their first timeout. Another three receiver set here will go in the nickel. Overstorm Brave, we're sending six. Hoping to get some pressure here. Thomas in the slot against Randall. Stevens howling, the lone halfback. Kirk Pat or, uh, Kaepernick calls for the ball. And Dominic Rogers camardi almost had that pick. T.Y. Hilton, fortunately for us, T.Y. Hilton, I think it actually got past Dominic Rogers camardi which means that if T.Y. Hilton had made that catch, he might have actually scored. Instead, it is third and seven, which is very, imp uh, very important. 
because if the Dolphins fail to get a first down here, we'll actually have some time to play with the ball before half, see if we can get a range for a field goal, or better yet, score a touchdown. In the meantime, Kirk Pat or Kaepernick dropping back to pass. Vontae Davis unable to elevate. Fortunately, though, the ball is out of bounds. Anyways, fourth and seven upcoming with 38 seconds left. This will give Castro an opportunity to bring this punt back for a nice gain. Punt return middle will be the call. C.O. Moore, you'll serve as our extra blocker. Punter punting, standing at his own eight-yard line. Let's this one go. Castro at his own 40-yard line. He's doing the weird thing again, trying to get around the edge. A flag is down, and Bryant McCann is going to be called for a penalty here. I don't know if it's clipping or a legal block, but he's called either way. That will negate the return, unfortunately. That was a nice return by Castro. And it's a clip, and it's going to cost us some yardage. So instead of starting at the, the, the opposition 45, we're starting at our own 34, at more than 20 yards. That costs us. And it's not the end of the world. Jason Campbell into the game. And Gino Castro playing the spot uh, normally filled by uh, the talented Deshaun Jackson. Castro's got even more speed than Jackson, though his hands aren't as good. Here we look to him, and he makes the catch. Gets out of bounds on the opponent's 49-yard line. Beautiful first play from scrimmage there. Gino Castro, uh, we've worked with him on his route running, on his catching ability. I think he could be a dominant receiver at six foot two. He's got great size, great speed as well. Obviously, 99 speed. You don't get better than that. Um, he's got all the assets to be great. Here, Darren Sproles taking advantage of the, of the safety blitz. Gets up to the 31-yard line. We call our first timeout. 17 seconds left. I would love nothing more than to score a touchdown on this play. By the way, credit to Jason Campbell. Two throws, two solid completions. Not bad for a guy who hasn't really played in a game uh, in 17 weeks. Uh, really, since the preseason, he's got no time at all to get out there and, and gain any experience. So nice job by him. Castro falls down. Doug Baldwin makes the catch at the sidelines. Good for a gain of five yards. Castro falling down there is relevant because the safety was coming in on the blitz. Castro might have had a great chance at scoring a home run touchdown there with the safety vacating the area instead uh, that goes for just a short gain. Dear, oh, Campbell stands in, takes a hit, sacked. Blitz there off the side. We were waiting on Doug Baldwin. The safety was in man coverage on Castro. Baldwin, I think, had the perfect route called to hit a home run to get that touchdown pass in there. Instead, we're looking at uh, third and 14. For me right here, I think the best thing to do is let's go ahead, let's call a play uh, in which, uh, let's go play action post. I like this play. This will give Castro an opportunity to break free uh, and be in a position to score a long touchdown. And if he's not in the position, he falls down again. Castro, though, comes open now. He elevates. Touchdown, Gino Castro with two seconds left. Castro brings in the ball. Touchdown, Bills. They go up 21-7. Gino Castro, bada bing, bada boom. Let's get him that thumbnail that he so deserves. Gino Castro coming into the game for Deshaun Jackson, who's resting after a long season. And Castro using showing off his strength his size, his speed. Touchdown, Bills. 21-7 will be the score at the half. And with the Bills set to get the ball on the other side of this halftime, it's exciting because it means that we will be able to uh, be able to hold on to the ball, control it, and hopefully put together a long, long, long drive that eats up a ton of time and... Uh, prevents the Dolphins from doing anything. Two seconds left. I assume the Dolphins are going to come out and just take a knee. Um, and sure enough, it is a QB kneel coming up. Just in case, we'll bring... Sure not. Let's just, just let's bring Jamarcus Sanford back. Obviously, there's a kneel coming, but just in case, Sanford's all the way back. And Colin Kaepernick is ending this half. 21-7 the score. Jason Campbell with a gorgeous throw on the second last play of the of the first half 
to Gino Castro. Campbell to Castro. What a connection. It's like Montana to Rice, baby. Actually, I think that, sorry, I think that would be Young to Rice. Jacoby Ford, anyways, bringing the ball out up to the 18-yard line. No, Montana to Rice. Young to Rice was the second half of Rice's career. That would make sense. First play from scrimmage, we're going to go to Darren Sproles, try and get him around the right side. The Dolphins have these huge defensive line sets. So Sproles likely kicking this back up the left side, and he does a nice job of that. Five yards. Sproles so good at fighting for that extra yardage. Just a little bugger. Such a pain in the neck for other teams. But that's what we love about him. Second and five upcoming. We are going to the air here, but Sproles and Williams will be crossing. Castro might come open over the middle, and Castro does come open over the middle. Castro comes wide open over the middle. Fights off one would-be tackler. Eventually brought down Jason Campbell, 100% on his passes today. 107 yards and a touchdown. Doesn't get much better than that. Here we're just going to try and slow play. We don't want to we don't want to do, be too flashy on this drive. The point here is to take time off the clock. Here we're, we're giving it to Williams off the left-hand side. Just trying to take some time off the clock, slow things down. It's kind of a first-world problem if you think about it in that last play. So I, I want to run the clock out, but my deep threat is getting way too wide open. First world problems, my friend. Talk about Madden problems. First world Madden problems. Here we'll give it to Sproles around the right-hand side. Looking for like a gain of five or six. Just try and set up third and five. Third and middle when we can go to the air again. Or even just go like a street screen pass, something like that. We'll wait for the clock to, to come down. I like this defensive set, by the way. We have this huge gap right in front of Luis Vasquez. I think we'll be able to take advantage of. Sproles popping around the outside and unfortunately... Not what, we, not what we were hoping for. Sproles, we would have been better served heading up the middle a little more. We didn't get great, uh, a great push initially, but a lot of our blockers stayed inside. Sproles just outran his blockers. That's why we only get one yard on that play. Let's go ahead here. Uh, Sproles out of the backfield, and he's, he's followed out of bounds. So the drive stalls. Three minutes off the clock, which is nice, but the drive ends... Here we'll have to punt it, Sam Martin in. We could go for the 62-yard field goal, but I think it might be ill-advised at this point. Sam Martin into punt. Hopefully gets that one far. Oh, no, he doesn't. That will go for a touchback. Unfortunately, we only net 25 yards on the punt. Frick. Three minutes left in the third quarter. Kaepernick comes in to put this one. I keep... Uh, that time I said Kirkpat... Or, Kaepernick perfect. I keep mixing up Kirkpatrick and Kaepernick. Kirkpatrick, Kaepernick, Kirkpatrick, Kaepernick, Kirkpatrick, Kaepernick, Kirk, uh, blah, blah, blah. That's a hell of a, a tongue twister, I tell you. Stevens Howling fights back to the left hand side, wrapped up by Wilfork. Nice job by Vince Wilfork showing off his amazing 98 block shedding ability. Getting over to make that tackle. Sanford and Thomas, the safeties on this play again. Hilton and Holmes, the two wide receivers to the left-hand side. Hendricks, the, four, the fullback, pinching over the right-hand side. Dolphins really committing to the run here. Got to give him credit for that. Thaddeus Gibson makes a nice tackle, stopping Stevens Helling for a gain of just one Sanford with some nice run support there. Third and eight at their own 22-yard line. You have to think the Dolphins here need to go to the air. We'll go wide set. We will bring uh, Sanford up just a little bit. Run support, double check for the read option play. Stevens howling in the backfield. And Kirkpatrick just looking to throw the ball here. He finally, he does find a man at the sidelines, but he has a foot out of bounds. Incomplete. The defense today doing such a great job through the air. And with that being the case, it's time to make some more adjustments, I think. Especially on the defensive side of the ball. Let's go ahead here on the defensive side of things. I think we keep, uh, I think we give Austin Lane. Wow, Austin Lane, 86 overall. I don't even believe that. That's not even a thing. Uh, we'll get uh, Jason Hunter into the game. Uh, the defensive tackle spot. We'll keep Ninkovich, but I think it's time to get uh, Camille Linton uh, some real time on the defensive side of the ball. 
his first live action play in a regular season game. Uh, let's, let's get Miles Burris some experience. I'll keep Bostic in. Uh, right outside linebacker, let's get Seal Moore some time in the place of Jason Worlds. Uh, Vontae Davis, his day is done. Let's go ahead, get Brian McCann in that spot. Dominic Rogers, Camardi. Let's get Jason Romano some time in that spot. Jason Romano has earned his time and a, and a chance, I think, to, 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 to fill that spot. Uh, Marcus Gilchrist can play the fourth corner spot. Um, free safety, let's leave that the way it is. Strong safety, let's leave that the way it is. Get our young guys some more playing time. And then on the offensive side of the ball, I think we keep just about everything the same. Uh, let's give Cumberland and Paul some time. Uh, on the defense, on the offensive line, let's let's get Roos out. Let's get now. Let's leave Grubbs in. Say, uh, let's leave that right guard. Let's get Mosley in. Right tackle. Uh, let's leave that the same. So Gilbert still getting some playing time, which I like. So probably two thirds of our roster now out, uh, particularly on the defensive side of the ball. Offense, we still have mostly the same starters. Um, all of our running backs are the same. Fullback, obviously the same. Receivers, just one change. Castro, speaking of him, tackled for on the return at his own 45 yard line. Um, we did make a change in our tight ends. We made a change in a couple spots in our offensive line. Left guard, uh, center. And right tackle still the same, but Bruce uh, uh, Bruce Campbell steps in at the left tackle spot. He gets a nice block here, sealing the end for Williams, who gets four yards off the left-hand side. Um, the other change at the right guard position is Brandon Mosley again, a long time or a long-term uh, bill. He signed uh, as a talented backup right guard for about a million dollars a season this past offseason. It was a nice deal, I thought. Um, to me, you always need at least one extra really good offensive lineman he's going to be ours uh, for the next while Sproul's not able to get around the edge there third and five upcoming and he actually stepped out of bounds that's a drag at the very least I was hoping to make sure we could keep the clock running uh, we're not going to be able to do that so watch for Campbell to look for Sproul's Castro or Cumberland somebody here and Gino Castro comes open he makes a nice catch and he can just head her right out of bounds and he takes a huge shot out of bounds but they never call those in Madden. Castro, by the way, 97 yards receiving on just four catches today. Love it. First down with, with Sproles being a little winded. We're going to go to Williams. Just left-hand side. He takes the handoff running behind Kuhn. That was Mario Manningham losing his block. L in the corner making the tackle for just a gain of two yards. And that will be the last play of the second, pardon me, of, of the third quarter. 21-7 the score. Um, fourth quarter upcoming. Bills just need the win to uh, clinch first place in the AFC with a 13 and three record. Uh, up two touchdowns, almost all uh, uh, their backups into the game, uh, depending on the position, of course. Um, it's a beautiful thing. All we need to do is make sure we, we keep to the game plan. Uh, we hold on to the football, and uh, we should, by all means, take this one here against our division rival in Miami. Um, Jason Campbell runs back here, hits Darren Sproles out of the backfield, who's got guys in front of him, makes a nice move just to get back to the line of scrimmage. That screenplay did not set up very well at all. <laughs> um, clock running. There's no rush to call a play here. Let's go ahead. Let's just go backs cross. I like this play. It gets Castro running the in route. Baldwin's running kind of the home run shot. Manningham coming back to the ball could come open. Sproles and Williams running the crossing routes. I always love that, getting the halfbacks running uh, uh, across one another. And Castro in the middle of the field, open again. His man just playing so far off of him. Come on, man. You cannot leave Gino Castro so open. You just can't do it. Just under five minutes left in this one. We're looking to go to the air here. Campbell's going to roll out with Cumberland. Sproles going to the middle of the field. We'll wait for the clock, the play clock, to, to run to one second before we snap this one. One second left. And Cumberland rolling right. Not going to come open, but Campbell's going to be able to try and take off. He fumbles the ball out of bounds. 
And we'll see. Did he, I think he got back to the line of scrimmage. He gained a yard on that play. Unfortunately, that stopped the clock. And the interest of keeping the clock running, I think we're going to go ahead, go quick toss to Darren Sproles here. Try and get him around this defense up the sideline if we can. Manningham lined up close to the play here is going to help him pick up a, a man, and he doesn't really. Two-yard loss on that play. Adams with the tackle. Manningham ran through every Dolphin defender without picking anybody up. He was alone in the end zone at the end of that play. Not his job, dude. Come on. Um, so on third and long, let's go inside cross. We have... Uh, Doug Baldwin running the quick and we have Niles Paul attacking the corner that will probably be where we want to go uh, once the clock runs down enough Cumberland and Williams will be the check down guys Niles Paul getting a rare chance to show off his athleticism his hands we'll see if he's able to do that here he goes and he's in coverage Campbell sacked Wilson coming off the edge just not enough time for him and with 45 yards between us and the goalposts, Greg Delay will come in to kick this one away on fourth and 22. The nice thing about this clear, uh, this kick, though, is that it will put us ahead by three scores with uh, just about three minutes left. Um, really making it difficult for the Dolphins to try any kind of comeback. With one second left, Greg Delay gets it up. It is good from 45 yards. 24-7 the score. The guys are celebrating this one. 2.59 left in the game. We'll go normal kick. Greg, the leg, it is up. And that will, uh, well, it should anyways go for a touchback. It does. McKnight does not want to bring that one out. 20-yard line will be the starting place for these Dolphins. Colin Kaepernick is having a bad game. He had one nice touchdown run. Since then has been stifled. He's been hit. He's been bruised. He's thrown a pick. He's thrown some, some, some ugly passes here. Camille Linton. Credit the undrafted rookie getting a chance to show off his stuff. Right here, he is the giant man in the middle of the defense. And Santonio Holmes takes that one out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Second and inches coming up for the Dolphins. The key there for the Dolphins is Holmes getting out of bounds with 2.55 left. Trying to save as much time as possible. Holmes there working on Kirkpatrick. You can see here Linton lined up beside Austin Lane. I would watch him personally on these plays. Uh, see how he does uh, I will I'm, I am trying to pay attention to him as much as possible so far has gotten uh, no uh, <laughs> has gotten no pressure whatsoever that's okay um, more of a run stopping defensive tackle the guy who we want to be the incumbent to uh, Vince Wilfork who's developed for us so well this season after going undrafted in the draft and uh, playing well playing well that's for sure developing well and uh, we're excited to get him into a game. Here he goes. He gets off his man. He died. And Brian McCann makes the pick. Colin Kaepernick, the ill-advised throw. McCann makes the pick. And that, folks, ends this one. The Bills are going to take this game. All they need to do to make it official is get one first down. We'll give it to Sproles. Halfback off tackle. We'll see if we can get around the right side here. Um, if we're not able to get a first down, we will have to punt it back to the Dolphins. However, Sproles here going to put his head down. Up for a gain of four yards around the right side. That'll bring us to the two-minute warning. Again, one first down, all we need. And then this game will be ours. Um, if we're not able to get a first down, the Dolphins can take the ball back, but they will have no timeouts, uh, or at the most one timeout, and not a lot of time to play with, and, and a terrible field position, and a terrible quarterback, apparently, because Colin Kaepernick has been really bad today. And, oh, buddy, John Kuhn. Misses the linebacker coming right through Main Street. Dolphins not calling a timeout here. Makes you think they know that the end is, 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 has arrived. We'll be able to snap this next, pa uh, next, next play with about 120 left in the game. Should allow us to get the clock down to one or about 40 seconds. Uh, unless, again, the, the Dolphins decide to actually use their timeouts. Um, I'd love to hit Cumberland on this play. Um, it should be able to end this. We're not running it because, again, I want to end the game with the ball right here and now. Don't let the Dolphins get it back. On third and nine, we got 10 more seconds. We'll snap the ball with 117 left. Here we go. Play clock down to three seconds. Bada bing, bada boom. We call the play. Jeff Crumlin comes open, makes the catch in the open field, puts his head down, wrestles for an extra three yards, and that, folks, should end 
this one. Campbell has been phenomenal since taking over for Aaron Rodgers. Makes you happy to know that you got a backup who can play because there's not a lot of teams that have that in the NFL. Guys who they can really count on to be their, their solid number two. <laughs> solid number two. <laughs> um, but uh, we got one, and his name is Jason Campbell. It's wonderful. Um, with uh, just about 40 seconds left, We'll call this run play to Ryan Williams off the left side. He makes a nice cutback, gain of four. And that, folks, likely the last play of 2014 as far as the regular season is concerned. We'll call one more play, see if we can maybe hit another home run just to be dicks. Why not? It's the last play of the regular season. Bills divide. I like this play. Gino Castro will get him just run straight down Main Street. With zeros on the clock. If he's not open, we'll throw the ball away. If not, this will be a nice little way to end the season on a stupid play. Because, again, why not? We have three, two, one. We call the play Castro. And, no oh, a fumble. Eric Wood picks it up. Goes for nothing. That's all right, folks. The game is done. We'll bring up the stats right here. Guy came up down Main Street as I was in the middle of, a, of an actual pump fake. That was an actual pump fake. And we'll go to the recap, shall we? Statistics for the teams. Uh, heavily in favor of Buffalo. 24-7 the score. Total offense, 273 to 146. Rushing yards, the Miami Dolphins did lead this category, 76 to 40. Passing, though, 233 to 70. Allowed 70 passing yards today. That's phenomenal. First downs, 12 for Buffalo. Punt return yards, 10 uh, nothing for Buffalo. Kick return yards, 53 nothing for Buffalo. Total yards, 336 to 146 in favor of Buffalo. Turnovers. Bills had one, Dolphins had two, third down conversion, six of eight for Buffalo, one of four for Miami. Miami was also 0 for 1 at fourth down conversions. Red zone percentage, three for three for my or for Buffalo, nothing for Miami. Penalties, one for 15 for Buffalo, none for Miami. Time of possession, 17-37 for Buffalo, 6-23 for Miami. Player stats. Jason Campbell was 9 of 10 for 156 yards, a touchdown, no picks. Aaron Rodgers, 8 of 11 for an equally impressive 111 yards. One touchdown, one pick. Colin Kaepernick, meanwhile, ugly. Five of 10, 70 yards, two picks. Not impressive. Running the ball at Rod Stevens, Howling had nine carries for 38 yards. Darren Sproles, eight for 31. Ryan Williams, seven for eight and a touchdown. Colin Kaepernick, four for 38 and a touchdown. Jason Campbell, one for one. Receiving, Gino Castro, five catches, 116 yards and a touchdown. Very impressive. Darren Sproles, four for 27. Santonio Holmes, four for, or two for 40. Doug Baldwin, two for 26. Jeff Cumberland, two for 30. Deshaun Jackson, two for 51. Eric Baldwin, one for 17 and a touchdown. Defensively, Josh Wilson led the game with five tackles for the Buffalo Bills. Just, uh, Justin Durant led the way with three. Tackles for a loss. Adonis Adams and Javier Arenas each kicked in one along with Demario Davis, or kicked in two along with Wilson Porter and Davis each had one. For the Bills, uh, Justin Durant had the only one sacks. Four on the game, Javier Arenas, Sean Porter, and Josh Wilson uh, with two one-and-one one respectively picks. Brian McKen, Drake Kirkpatrick each had one. Josh Wilson kicked in one for the Dolphins. Uh, kicking the ball, Greg the Leg uh, was one for one. Mason Crosby did not attempt one. Sam Martin, one punt for 45 yards. Matt Bosher, one for 43. Kick returns, Jacoby Ford, two for 53. Punt returns, Gino Castro, one for ten. All right, guys, that brings us to the to the end of the 2014 regular season. Bills finish the season at 13 and three. They take the AFC. They are the number one seed. The road to the Super Bowl is coming through Buffalo. We'll see you tomorrow for some practice, for some upkeep, and the like. Uh, until then, you guys, I'm Tuxedo T-shirt. I cannot wait to play the playoffs with you guys. And I'm out.